Well, hello to you guys, this is as always, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Russia! Today I'm taking you with me to do some Russian shopping and we're going to go to the place which called Mega Belia Dacha. Yes, I call this shopping mall a mega mall, not because it's just gigantic, but because it's literally called Mega. It's called Mega Belia Dacha and Belia Dacha means white dacha and dacha in Russian is a village house and uh, white dacha is like an area of suburbs of Moscow. It took me a while to come here because it's pretty far away. You need to go to the last station of a violet uh, train line, metro line and then took a marshrutka, like a small bus to come here. Let me show you the scale of this place. It starts over there. You see yellow and blue building. That's what used to be an IKEA store, but it's not there anymore because of sanctions. You know, capitalist brands, they left Russia and only communist brands are still with us. So let me show you around. It goes here and then they have this massive bridge that connects actually two parts of this shopping mall and this is another part of this giant mall and it ends just here it's very big right so let's go inside and check it out I used to visit this mall when I first time visited Moscow in my life. Yes, right now I live in Moscow already for one year and it's my first time coming here. But first time in this mall was when I was traveling to Moscow and uh, we decided to come here for shopping <laughs> because, you know, I'm from Vladivostok and we never had fashion brands in Vladivostok, which shop Shopping is very limited in Vladivostok and when we came to Moscow we have to go to the nice shopping mall to see what they have here and look this is a food court and it looks more like a railway station or uh, an airport this is how giant it is I remember first time coming to Moscow I was shook with the size of Moscow <laughs> and the size of the shopping mall that they have here Actually, I'm still like shook about the scale of this place, but now I'm more used to it. This is very big food court in the middle that we're going to explore a bit later. I just want to show you around. These are shopping streets that go around this shopping mall. And there they have big Ashan supermarkets. So let's go around and I will explain you about how is shopping nowadays in Russia? We can start exploring over here. The shop I wanted to show you, you can see behind me, it's called Gloria Jeans. It's a Russian brand that nowadays on the rise. It was actually established in 1988 in USSR, right? And it has a pretty long history. So now, nowadays, when H&M brand left, they kind of overtook the H&M clothes niche. From the beginning, Glory Jeans was brand who sell mostly jeans and very average clothes. But recently, they made really good rebranding and now they look very nice and modern. They changed design of their logo, which now looks very minimalistic and uh, international. And now they make very nice fashionable campaigns for the advertisement. When H&M left, they overtook a lot of H&M's location around Moscow and now they have a main store in the Tverskaya street, very big one. And in terms, in terms of business, they are striving right now. Mm -hmm. 
I really like this autumn jacket. I tried that another day, but I just wasn't sure about this greenish tone of this gray color. If it would be like positive color, I would buy it. Also, they have black version, but I already have black coat, so I didn't buy it in the end. It is time to shop winter items because snow is expected in a month. Super Step is one of the stores where you can buy branded shoes. You know that like original Adidas and Nike stores are left, but we still have some stores where you can find original shoes to buy. Guys, they have very crazy capitalist prices over there. I just check out the shoes that I like. Uh, it was Nike Air Force pink color and it cost 20,000 rubles and in Russian prices in Russian currency it feels really expensive but I understand that it's a sanctioned price I'm sitting here in the middle it's very nice uh, cute area you see here we have mango brand they didn't left Russia and they didn't change all as it was before I actually really like to be here because it's not overcrowded. If we would be just now in a downtown of Moscow in a shopping mall, it would be very, very crazy inside. But here is kind of spacious and empty. It's just nice that not so many people here. So now, guys, I will take you to the Mark store, which is Russian replacement of Zara brand. I already mentioned Max store in one of my previous videos and I said that I don't really like it here because it just looks like a more simple and cheap version of Zara brand but prices are still expensive because look this average looking cardigan cost it costs $60 for what I don't know Zara brand it's not my favorite fashion brand, but at least Zara has some fashion sense in their collection. Sometimes you can find pretty nice design pieces over there, but uh, Max store, it's not there at all. Look how it's just very random, I think. Look at that very golden sweater that cost also $60 I don't understand why I would not to wear this one for sure it feels like they still try to be fashionable but overall vibe of the store it's not there just want to show you real examples look very golden jackets yeah, so the overall vibe is just not there. I wanted to show you this brand. In Russian, it's called Slipaya Kurice, which translates as blind chicken. They sell branded uh, glasses here. Whose idea was that to call a shop as a blind chicken? Just funny. This is Gopnik Shapachki store. Shapachki in Russia, it's winter hat. It's nice to walk in a shopping mall without shoes, isn't it? I like Paul brand. I know that they have cafes in uh, different countries. And we have it here in Moscow too, which is pretty cool. 
look at this amazing coat if i would wear that i would look like a baby sheep for your entertainment i'm trying this out and this is how it looks pretty cool right wow guys i really found cccp komani socks and lenin and kremlin and uh, matryoshka socks I don't really like any clothes today, but I really like those socks. I want to buy colorful winter hats, but why they have only very, very boring colors everywhere? I found very philosophical t-shirt. Find what makes you feel most alive and go after it. Japanese philosophy. I want to buy this colorful open dress and go to Thailand. Now I will show you another Russian brand that I like recently. It's called Sela. It was open in 90s, so it's very old Russian brand. And before I didn't really like it because they sell like very average clothes. But recently they make a big rebranding and now I actually really like to go there and i like to buy something from them they redesigned everything and their store looks very spacious bright and friendly they also created their own mascot which is a little monster and their slogan is seller uh, mums and monsters they have a very friendly and family vibes and uh, quite decent price and decent quality it is very very cool that they have collaboration with Soyuz Multfilm which is a Soviet cartoon you see that uh, they use the character from old Soviet cartoons this one is very cute and sometimes they also have collaborations uh, with artists so far i think it's my favorite store because they have just very cozy high quality and just convenient uh, everyday styles and also they have a sale today buy two pieces and get one free so maybe i need to choose something here and maybe i will buy something I'm trying this classical suit, but it feels like too much oversized. This is, by the way, size S. <laughs> I am back to the food court zone. Now I will show you what brands we have here. It starts with the Burger King, and then some kind of pizza, rustics, kroshka kartoshka, and teremok, and there will be вкусная точка in the end. I want to decide what I will get. On the other side, we have Stars Coffee, Vietnamese food, Osteria Mario is Italian food, this is Chicken Master, Chicken Restaurant and Paul. I decided to stop at the Vietnamese restaurant because there is nothing better than nice Asian food. And I ordered beef glass noodles and coconut drink. You just saw that I came here to another part of the shopping mall by bridge. At this part, they have children's zone, also electronic shops and more fashion. Waiting for iPhone 16 to arrive a little bit later. It is Apple reseller because we don't have original Apple store anymore in Russia, but we're still able to buy original Apple items. And I'm thinking to upgrade my phone to iPhone 16 too. We came to another brand that I wanted to show you today. In Russia, we have such company as Melon Fashion Group. It includes a few fashion brands. One of them is this one. It's called Be Free. 
and another one is Sella that I showed you previously and this company when other brands left Russia after sanctions this company is thriving I would say this particular store is not their best and overall Mega Bella Dutch is a bit disappointing today I feel like they have less options uh, here and styles if you would compare it to uh, Avia Park or Afi Mall which are in the city center of Moscow I think uh, those shopping malls are better than uh, Bialya Dacha one million years later I try this all I'm actually tired <laughs> I finally choose something to buy the damage is done to my wallet I have three bags with me and you know what I think in Russia you pretty much have to spend a lot of money for buying clothes because we have four distinct seasons and we have to have wardrobe for any weather you can imagine everything from swimming suit up to fur coat for minus 40. in august you only need t-shirt and shirt in september you can wear something like this then in october you already need a coat with some jeans in november you need slightly more warm coat and hat in december you will already have snow you so you need a winter jacket in january you will have minus 30 so you need to have a winter fur coat and very heavy boots for example so every month you need to wear something new so you guys the result of sanctioned russian shopping i will show you what i've got yesterday it happened to be that i bought only russian brands i got two pieces in gloria jeans and two bags in b3 brand got myself red hat and lovely socks i love that i like color red this season and i will show you my favorite ever piece of clothes that i found yesterday it is this sweater look at that how cool is this it's a sweater with three gopni cats i don't know it's just i want to shake the hand of a designer who created this because it's just so funny uh, the, there are three cats, they wear adidas suits, you see the stripes, and there they wear hats and one cat uh, holds a, a little flower. I, I like overall, I, I like this sweater. It's a bit depressive, it's grey, but it's uh, funny and I think it just reflects my life. And it's also, it has very good fabric and it's very soft. So I think it's going to be my favorite piece of clothes this season. Together it will look nice, I think. Also, comfy scarf, like that. We need to be ready. You know, today it's like very, very autumn-y outside. Leaves are falling and the rainy weather. Well, how we can summarize it all? I can tell you that Russia is not a fashion capital at the moment, but Russian malls under sanctions right now are just doing all right. You still can find a few decent pieces over there, and we have a few Russian brands that are developing very fast in the recent few years. I hope it was interesting for you to watch my little update about our life here in Moscow in perspective or just normal person who live here in Russia. So you guys, if you want to learn more about Lisa the Russian, you can go and watch other videos on my channel because I have a lot of them. And if you really like what I'm doing, you can consider to become sponsor of Patreon or subscribing to YouTube sponsorship program or you can send just one time little donation but if you don't want to do that it's not problem at all because just giving this video a like and watching it until the end very helps with the algorithm so thank you so much guys for staying up until the very end of this video and i will see you very soon in my next one bye bye